What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and welcome back to the channel. And today I wanted to dive into the world of Sparky Linux, which is a Debian based distribution that promises speed, customization and versatility. So let's check it out. All right, so before we get started, let's take a closer look at what Sparky Linux brings to the table. And I'm currently at sparkylinux.org, and this is where you can get the distribution. You can get all the information about the operating system. But Sparky Linux caters to a wide range of users with its different additions. So whether you're a casual user, a minimalist, a gamer, or a multimedia enthusiast, Sporky has something for you. And that's from its fully featured standard desktop version, which is the one I wanna look at today, to its Fugal minimal GUI and minimal command line editions. And in my opinion, Sparky, you know, kind of offers a lot of flexibility like no other, especially being a Debian based distro. And let's head over to the about page and let's scroll down a little bit so we can check out the main features. And as you can see, it's Debian based, it's stable or semi rolling release. It's also lightweight, fast and simple. And like I said a little earlier, you have a whole bunch of desktop environments you could choose from. They have a couple different additions like the game over, the multimedia and rescue you, let's see, command line edition, no X for building customized desktop. So it'll give you that kind of orch feel so you could build the desktop once the operating system, the base operating system is installed. And it also has wireless and mobile network core support. You have a set of selected applications, multimedia co codexes and plugins. And one cool thing about it, the, it has its own repository with a large set of additional applications. Now, let me show you guys how to actually get Sparky. So if we go over to the download page, just wanted to show you guys the options right fast. So they got the stable and the semi rolling and they're both based on Debian, obviously. And let's say we click on the stable version and then get past the ad. But as you can see, you got a whole bunch of different versions of it. So you got LXQT, you got Mate, which I'll install the Mate today. All you got to do is hit the ISO image and they also have torrent files, package list, so you can check that out. The MD5 hash checksum, as well as the signature, just to verify that you're downloading it from the right source. But let's see, XFCE, which is my favorite on any distro, XFCE is my favorite. But Katie, you got the minimal GUI, the minimal GUI i686, your minimal command line, AMD64, and then you got your open box one. And like I said, it's a whole bunch. So open box and then a command line text mode. So you can get both of those or get all of those. And those are for your ARM boards, like your Raspberry Pis and all that good stuff. So now that we have a good understanding of what, what Sparky Linux is all about, let's move over to the installation process right fast. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, so I'm logged into my virtual machine. I went on and built one up and booted into the live ISO. And it takes you to the operating system so you can actually play around with it, but it'll automatically open up a welcome page with a whole bunch of information. So homepage form, wiki, basically all the information we was just looking at, but you can get a, you can go back to that website and get a lot of this information if you want to, but it has it conveniently here for you. So let's go down and close that out. But in order to install it, all we have to do is hit Sparky installer and this will open up the installation for you. And if you guys can't tell, this is Calamaris installer. So it's super simple to install. And let's see what version it is. Let's see. Oh, there we go. I see the about. So this is 3.3.1. So this Calamaris installer for Sparky Linux. So let's go down and press OK. But let's run through this install right fast. It's super simple. So first thing, select your language, press enter, select your location. Next, your keyboard layout. Next, and then erase the this, uh, just verify that you select the new right storage device, which I have a 32 gigabyte virtual hard disk. I'm gonna use erase this. Let's give it a little swap. So swap the file, that's fine. We really don't need to, but I'm gonna just do it anyway. 
encrypt the system if you want to. I'm not going to do that, but you do have that option there. And it's just going to ask you for the password that you want to set for the encryption. And then also your master boot boot record location. That's fine. Let's hit next set up our account. I'm just type Josh in here and then we're going to name this computer spark. That should be fine. And then type in our super strong password twice and see what happens and that's cool right there it says login automatically let's uncheck that i never like to have that checked i wish you know all distros had that unchecked at least and that way it'll force people to look at it and make that selection if they want it i don't like logging into my system automatically without asking for the password that's not cool because people can go in you know look at all your information let's say if you, you got this on a laptop your laptop gets stolen someone can actually just open up the computer unless you got encryption on encryption that'll be you know the first line of defense because your hard drive is encrypted at that point but if you don't have it encrypted someone just boots up your system then it'll log right in without the password and they can go right into your documents right into your pictures you know all that good stuff and all you really have to do is plug in a hard drive you can copy all the data off you know what i'm saying it's it's nothing that requires a password when you're just copying stuff off you know the system or whatever especially if you're logged into that account that owns all those files and then also like ssh encryption keys all that stuff is stored under your home directory and it's owned by you if you log in automatically someone can just grab all that stuff especially if they know what they're doing so let's see use this same password for the administrator account that's fine let's hit next and here's the summary let's hit install and this will install the mate version like i said i downloaded that mate version this is the desktop and so i'll be back when it finishes all right so as you can see the installation process is simple and very intuitive and that makes it very accessible even for you know beginners of the linux operating system but also i wanted to point out like if you ever run into any issues you know they have a pretty good community that's one thing i didn't point out on the website that can help you with any issues that may arise you know once you get the operating system set up so let's hit done and you guys probably have seen Mate. It's not that difficult to go through. I'm gonna wait for it to come back up. All right, so we logged into our new operating system. As you can see, that same welcome page will pop up. So you can go to the homepage for Sparky Linux, the forum, the wiki, you know, it's a lot of information out there for you. But one of the first things you wanna do is open up your terminal. Let's see if we can find it right fast. Let's go to terminal and you wanna update the system. And as you guys know, it's Debian based. So it uses the apps package manager. So you can type in sudo apps updates and then sudo apps upgrade. And this will upgrade your system. So very simple system to use. It's just something different from Ubuntu, in my opinion. That's, that's the way I see this operating system. It's a little bit different. You know, it has more options for you. You know what I'm saying? As far as the desktop environments, you can use different things. So you don't, I mean, with Ubuntu, you have all the different flavors. That's cool. They have a Mate edition of Ubuntu, but this one is kind of like a base one and it has pretty much the packages uh, Sparky recommends you put on here as well as the design of the desktop environment and all that good stuff. But while that's updating, let's go through and check out some of the software right fast let's just check it out right fast so let's open up the package manager that's one thing i wanted to look at right fast and right now it's locked i forgot because of that so let's just go through and look at some other stuff let's go to the control center so super simple if you've used my tape before you know you understand how to actually use this it has light dm uh gtk greeter so that was the greeter well you guys didn't see the greeter but it popped up with the greeter now one of the things most people like to do is look at the look and feel or go under the look and feel under appearance and you can change up the appearance of your desktop environment and they have a whole bunch of little options in here you got your backgrounds if you go into this tab let's check out something else you know a little different let's look at the snow it's still kind of cold outside out here in vegas so let's go on in and put a little snow up there even though it doesn't snow here in vegas let's see a little snow in the background so it's super cool let's see the mate tweaks that's one other thing i want to show you guys so you got a couple little options so under your desktop you show your icons panels this breaks everything out for you in order to make those little tweaks to the system let's go ahead and close that and then you have all your little options up in here 
you know what I'm saying? It's for uh, configuration changes for the desktop environment. They got firewall configurations as well, like system settings as well. You can go in there. Let's go to your about me right fast. So that's my account. And let's check out the file manager right fast. And let's check that out right fast. It's Kajo. So 1.26.3 that comes with Mate. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys it, but I like the little theme that they have on here. Super cool. And like I said, you got all your little information here. Mainly what I wanted to show you guys was the package manager, but, and, and actually let's go to it now because our updates finished and let's go on and click on the synaptic package manager, type in our password for it. And there you go. So if you guys want to learn sy synaptic it's super simple, you can search for all your applications, you got all your repositories under here. So this is the installed application. So as you see, it comes with a whole bunch of applications. Well, your typical applications, but a few others for Mate, install local and obsolete. Let's see, install manually, new in repository. So they got changes in the repository. You could check that out. And then not installed, obviously, that's the packages that are not installed. And I won't go through Synaptic. It's super simple to use, but this is how you get new software on the system. All right, and so that wraps up my comprehensive review of Sparky Linux from its lightweight design to its vast customization options. Sparky Linux proves to be a compelling choice for both seasoned Linux users and newcomers. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and as always, keep it techy.